I have with me Ricky Rebel. And Ricky Rebel is a singer, songwriter, recorded artist. Rebel is known for being pro Donald Trump, the great white hope, and advocating for LGBT rights. Ricky, welcome to the show. Hi, Jesse. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. I um I appreciate you being here. And so you support Donald Trump. Why do you support the Great White Hope? Absolutely. Uh, he wanted to bring jobs back to America. He wanted to create jobs. And so far, we have 6 million plus new jobs. We have the lowest unemployment for African Americans, Latinos, and Asians in recorded history. Uh, we have ex historic tax cuts. We have strong borders now because of our president. He, he wants to build the wall to keep uh, uh, illegal aliens out, drugs, child sex trafficking. He wants to stop all of that. He's gone after pedophiles. He's arrested pedophiles, 2,000 plus. He um, He's also, for the LGBT, he wants, he's committed to ending AIDS in 10 years, which is incredible. And he's also uh, committed to decriminalizing homosexuality around the world because in certain countries, it's a criminal act to be uh, a home to be homosexual and right. they lock you up they put you in jail uh, in radical Islamic terrorist uh, places they throw us off of buildings they kill us they murder us so I support President Trump are you a conservative I have read what the uh, conservative principles are and I agree with all of it pretty much so uh, according to the um, Heritage Foundation, I am a conservative. But how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a conservative or liberal? I, uh, I think that I am a classical liberal, um, but I think that everything has shifted so far to the left that anybody who was maybe center right or center has become more right leaning because the, the radical leftists have pulled everything too far to the left. Yeah. And how do your friends feel about you being a conservative and co supporting the Great White Hope? Uh, many of them don't understand why. <laughs> uh, many of them, <laughs> they don't understand me. They don't, uh, they don't like, uh, many of them don't like Trump, which is fine. Uh, I'm not advocating for anybody to vote or think a certain way. I am a freedom of speech advocate. I want people to think for themselves and to be an individual Absolutely. and to decide for themselves what is true and what is false. Yep. Um, they have to do their own research. And I'm not here to tell people that, you know, how to vote. I'm just saying that, hey, I like President Trump. And I wrote a song about it called Sheep, uh, talking about the people who are listening to the fake news. I'm wearing my CNN <laughs> is fake news <laughs> T-shirt. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, exactly. <laughs> uh, Alex Jones helped to uh, kind of red pill me, and he showed me how corrupt and how fake the mainstream media news is. They're they're very they're doing a huge disservice to the American people. Yeah, and and the sheep are the people who believe all of the lies, and not only believe the lies, but then act out it in heinous ways. They destroy their relationships with people. They destroy uh, marriages. They uh, I I've had best friends. Friends of mine stopped talking to me. I've had uh, people who work in the industry who refuse to work with me. They they said working with you would be like working with the KKK. So <laughs> amazing. And so and, uh, they know your friends don't want to hang around around you anymore. They don't want to hang out with you anymore. No, I have intelligent friends. Yeah. And I just I just hang out with them. Right on. And so yeah. were you banned from social media or you were? Um, shadow ban or something i think i'm shadow banned because my numbers go up and down yeah a lot you yeah. know what i mean they they, they go up i'm like oh twenty seven thousand, and then all of a sudden i'll be like down to 19. <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean it's just weird it's just really weird but how do you I, feel I, I about that been, it sucks yeah. it, it, it sucks because you work really hard as an artist as a i mean i've been in the industry for a very long time i was discovered by michael jackson at a young age and i was signed to his record label I um, recorded an album on his label. I toured with Britney Spears at one point and was signed to Madonna's label as well. 
And there's a lot of work. I have a lot of history and a lot of work that goes into what I do, a lot of passion. So when I release a video, um, you know, it comes from all of this history and experience. And I want people to see it. I want people to to uh, be moved by it. So when YouTube and Facebook censor that, it's it's um, it's hurtful. It um, sucks. <laughs> uh, amazing. Maybe the great white hope would do something about that. Um, are you a Christian? I don't. Hmm. I don't know what happens when I die. And at the end of the day, I I try to be a kind. I want to be a kind person. I'm a human person. I try to do what, how I try to treat people the way I'd want to be treated myself. Um, my mother and father are Christians and they're Republicans. And uh, my mother has had some very deep experiences with, with God, you know, and she's, she's taught, she's spoken to me about that. And, and, you know, cause when I was a kid, I got into a really bad accident. It was like a really horrible accident. Like I was three years old. And my mother almost died in the accident. And she said that she met God and asked for God to, to be, to stay on earth, to, to be with me to, because she knew that uh, I needed a mother. And she said it was bliss when she died. It was absolute bliss. And she says the biggest sacrifice she's ever done in her whole life to come back to, to be with me. But uh, I'm grateful, very grateful. I'm gonna start crying. Uh, very grateful to have her in my life. So that experience that she had is really the only thing that I kind of, you know, view as something as evidence of of an afterlife. In my life, I mean, I have moments of of of, of uh, ecstasy, of, of bliss, and you know, when I'm making music, I remember singing my song "Sing Freedom," and I just started crying. I know what it I know what it means to connect to that, to the source. Uh, I do it through music. I do it through, through dancing, through expression. Um, I just don't, I just don't know what happens. You know what I mean? I'm not, and so, I just don't know. So are you a Christian? Am I a Christian? Um, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't really know. Like when I, I had surgery recently and they asked me, uh, <laughs> Who do you want to, to, you know, to come in? Either they had any any preach anybody who could pray for you, uh, any denomination, you know, Christian, Jewish, um, any of them. And I said, well, well, you, I better hedge my bets. Just bring them all in. <laughs> 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 I guess I don't know. Maybe the Mormons are right. Maybe maybe the Jews are right. At the end of the day, like you know, just treat people with kindness and love and respect, and we'll see what happens. And if God judges me and He wants to throw me to hell for for eternity, okay. And but, so, know. so is that a no? <laughs> you You're not a Christian. I Jesse, I don't. It's an. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, I don't know. But if you were a Christian, you would know. Exactly. And that's why I don't think I am, because one time I went to a um, church and the, and the guy was like, everybody who doesn't believe in everything that the Bible says, every single word of the Bible, then you are not a Christian. <laughs> every single word of the Bible. And in the Bible, it says things like, you know, to kill, to kill gay people. Uh, it, it says some other you know, stone people, stone. Where in the Bible does it say to kill gay people? Stone adulterers. Where does it say that? Uh -huh. I, I I looked it up for us. <laughs> where, where does it say? <laughs> uh, Levi Leviticus 2013 New Living Translation says, if a man practices homosexuality, having sex with another man as with a woman, both men have committed a detestable act. They must both be put to death for they are guilty of a capital offense. And to you, okay. that that means stone them to death. To me, that means put them to death. I don't care how you do it. But, and, and, and what? Yeah. Go ahead. And yeah. So, and so, but, if you believe that, that means that you would not be a, ever be a Christian if if you believe that, right? Would I would I be a Christian if I believe that? Yeah. Oh, uh, is that a, I, is that enough to make you become a Christian? The, Knowing that a gay person could be stoned to death, they must be put to death. Would that does Knowing that, make, that 
Does that make you scared? No, because I'm alive and I'm free because I'm an American. Uh, but you're I not have, gay, I, are you? Well, Trump held the gay flag up at his rally. Are you gay? I'm bisexual, technically. I've had I've been in uh, romantic relationships with women and men. Really? And does your mother know this? Yes. And did she go back to God and say, you know what? I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. My mother's very proud of me. She loves every part of me. In fact, she she gives thanks to God that I did come out the way I am. Quote, so gay, do you do or whatever? Because she thinks that there's a part of me that's uh, very sensitive and creative. Oh, so your mother's That's happy that a part of you is gay? My father's very proud of me, too. They, yeah. are not, they, not, not necessarily the gay part of me, but, but the creativity side. There are a lot of, there are a lot of, uh, being, a lot of homosexuals or gay people, LGBT, are very creative and, and beautiful. As you know, you, when you want to get your hair done, you go to a gay stylist. When you want to, <laughs> want to get your nails done, you, get, you, you, want to, you want to look fashionable, you go to a gay designer. And, uh, and so, um, so you're we're close very to... Good at, you're close creative. to your father, too? Yes, I love my father. And he uh, yeah. does he know that you're bisexual? Yes. And what? he 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 did not have a problem with it. He was just like, be safe. Oh. You know, they just, and that was his thing. Um, my mother had, was a little bit more upset because she thought I couldn't, maybe couldn't have children, you know? Right. But um, one day, who's to say I'm not going to marry a woman? Who's to say I'm not going to have a wife and child? Who's to say I'm not going to have a uh, um, man and a woman if I want? Amazing. See, I'm, I'm the kind of person that wants everything out of life. I want, I want it all. I want to experience uh, everything. I want to travel the world. I want to be in love with men and women. I've been in love with, with women. I've been in love with a man. I'm currently in love with somebody or love somebody. How old are you? Um, do we have to get... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I'm 30 plus. Oh, okay. So, you can wait. Yeah. so what? You can also um, find out online. People. Oh, yeah. Wiki, wiki. What do you call it? I'm on Wiki. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes on Wiki gets, uh, people change my Wiki. They call me a Nazi on my Wiki page. <laughs> <laughs> so let me Wiki's ask. So far from the truth. You said you, at one time you were part of Michael Jackson's label, right? Yes. Are you still yeah. uh, on his label? Uh, no, I was discovered by him at a really young age. We we were um, in a pop group. It was like a pop R and group, a pop R and B group called No Authority, and we made some demos. And uh, this executive from Sony came up and said, "You know, I want to show these to Michael." And we're like, "Okay, that's cool. They're going to show it to some guy named Michael." And uh, he's like, okay, Michael loves it, and he wants to meet you guys, so come on in and and come to Sony, and, and they're like, you're going to meet Michael Jackson. I'm like, Michael Jackson was the one you were talking about? <laughs> amazing. Oh, my God. Amazing. Exactly. And um, so what do you think about the accusations against Michael Jackson? Oh, my God. Jesse, are we going to go there? This is so <laughs> deep. Uh, hey. I think that, first of all, when I met Michael Jackson, um, he was very kind. He's a very kind person. He's a very human person um, and, and funny. I mean, we've always had a fun, like we used to watch movies together. We would, um, we would go on roller coaster rides together. He's, very, he's like a kid, right? Uh, right. Um, I, I think that going off of my experience, I don't think that he, he did that. OK, uh, that he did that. Right. However, I did watch the movie with Wade Robson and, and the other boy. And uh, it does seem like their stories kind of match up and add up. And there's some evidence to potentially that he possibly could have been a pedophile. Amazing. And so you know, at the end of the day, people don't understand. People don't can't under, can't separate the genius and the artist from his work, from from his personal life. Right. Like, I still listen to his music. A lot of people will go, oh, well, if you think that person was potentially a pedophile or whatever or has done uh, horrible things that you can't like their music anymore, can't appreciate their art or anything like that. No, he was a really, he's a genius. So, And just because and those really guys know. said that about him doesn't mean that it's true. So you just can't take, yeah. you can't take one side of someone because people have um, evil hearts and they always have right. an agenda. 
Right. And they wanted money from him. That's yeah. For sure. Yeah. And when they couldn't get it. So at the end of the day, in my experience, I don't think he did it. And it, it's just one of those things where I don't, again, with like God, like, I don't know. I didn't have any experience with, with Michael in that way. Let me take so a short day, break. Uh, I have a couple right? more questions for you. Back in a moment. So I'm talking to Ricky Rebel, and I'm going to get to your calls in a minute. I, uh, he's a singer, songwriter, recorder, artist, and he's known for being pro Donald Trump, the great white hope. And he's also advocating for LGBT rights. Is that true, Ricky? You're, uh, you're for LGBTQ rights? I, I don't like the Q. The Q stands for queer, which is a, a derogative term. But so some of them are proud they, of being called queer. I know. I, and I call it, I think that's really dumb and stupid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't call me a queer. I'm not a queer. But All right? so you're for their rights, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want I want I don't want uh, gay people to be fired for just for the fact of being gay or, you know, I don't I want them to have um, equal rights. And uh, what what uh, equal rights mean in what? Well, I mean, equal rights like um, discrimination laws, just just to, just the same rights that people have for like for uh, their religion, you know, freedom of religion or. Being, but if they you know, don't flood it, no one really cares. If they just keep it in the bedroom and go to work and act like normal people, no one really cares. It's only become an issue when they try to impose it on others. Yeah, yeah. I understand that. If you're if you're coming to work with a dildo on, I understand you should you should be fired. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> that that makes sense. But if if you you know, if you show up like me, you know, with a little bit higher voice or you know, a little bit softer or gentle or feminine and you get fired just because you are like that, like you're, you're the way your mannerisms are or something of that nature, um, then I think that's wrong. Let me ask, um, uh, because of time here, I, I was watching a Tucker Carson show a couple of weeks now, and there was this black guy who was with an organization called Turning Point. And I think his name was Rob Smith or something. Right. And I didn't know. Uh, and so Rob was talking about conservative issues. And supposedly he is for uh, Donald Trump. And yeah. uh, and um, out of nowhere, you know, he was just talking about the conservative points and he's for yeah. it. And it <laughs> I saw it. And out of nowhere, he said that he was a homosexual and he had a husband. And he right. had, and he I know was, it freaked you out. Uh, it was gay. I'm like, what the? And I had never heard a black man say he had a husband because men don't have husbands, right? And well, I, that was my do. first time hearing that. And I, 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 I was know. stunned by that. I know and you so were. My, I thing, that. my thing is, I don't mind. I don't mind men and women being a part of the Republican conservative party, but I don't want them coming in there flaunting their lifestyles and abnormal lifestyles because that's what the Democrats are all about, you know, abnormal right. stuff, right? And the conservative party is about God, family, country, individuality, and freedom. And we know, conservatives know that, you know, homosexuality is abnormal, is wrong. And that people need to repent and overcome that. Lesbian, lesbians are wrong. And so they don't care as long as you keep it to yourself, but don't try to impose it into the conservative movement because you can't be a Christian and a homosexual or lesbian. Or, you don't have to be or wait, a conservative. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be a Christian to be conservative. And you don't have to be straight to be a conservative. But that's According what conservative to, means, is that you believe no, in no, the no, principle. No, 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 Let me no. just finish this. To, Let me wait. finish this first. Uh, conservative means that you believe in God. Because it's about God and country, where the Democrats are not about that. And so, like, I know that everybody in the conservative department are not really godly people, right? But they don't flaunt it because they know that it's wrong. So we should allow these people to come in and flaunt their lifestyle. You could be a conservative. 
I mean, you can vote for Trump, be a conservative, but keep the lifestyle to yourself. Okay, here's what I'm going to end this with. People, you need to go to theheritagefoundation.com and look up what are conservative principles. Conservative principles are include the federal government is instituted to protect the rights to preserve life, liberty, and property, a mission uh, uh, to protect the sanctity of life by defending freedom of speech, religion, the press, assembly, and the right of individuals, individuals to be treated equally and justly under the law. Nowhere did it say you have to be straight in order to be a conservative. So I want everybody to go check that out at theheritagefoundation.com. Look up what conservative principles really are. And I look them all up. There are 10 of them. And none of them mention being religious or being Christian or, or having to do with uh, a sexual preference. I'm very, I am, I'm, I'm very familiar with the, uh, um, what's the name of the organization? The uh, Heritage, Heritage Foundation. Foundation. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've spoken there. I've done conferences there, held conferences there. But I do know that the conservative party is based on Christianity. It's based, the principles come from God, right? I don't know what they have written there, but I do know that. My question is, do you agree with Turning Point is that they're supposed to be Christians, but yet they're publicly promoting an abnormal lifestyle who has nothing to do with God? They're, they're, in, a, uh, they're in a bind. You know, they can't answer that question. Why not? And the, Groip, the Groipers are going after them because of it. <laughs> and here's what I stand. You know, alt-right Groipers. They, What's a Groiper? These things. A Groiper is an alt-right light guy who says that, you know, gay is an abomination. It should not be here in America because it wasn't a founding father situation and gays can't be conservative. That's why they're confronting him with this. And most and of the time, gays, gays, wait, they're saying gays can't be in the party. And, and basically it was, and it's immoral, but it wasn't long ago, JLP, when it was immoral for black and white people to be together. But what does it have to do with gay? That doesn't have to do with being gay. Disgusting. I think that's disgusting. For, but for point, black and white to be together, for black people to be with white people. But what does that have so, to do with homosexuality, though? What does that have to do with with race? It wasn't immoral to be black. black. Vote anyway. At the end of the day, we can vote however we want, regardless of our skin color, regardless of sexuality. Those things have nothing to do with it. So they have a problem. If, if they they have a turning point, has a problem. They're going to have to answer that question. Right. We don't know how to answer. You're right because they are conflicted. But if they were truly conservative, they wouldn't have a problem with it because it's not a part of, of conservative principles. I love, I love Christians. I have a lot of friends who are Christian. I'm very close to many of them. I adore them and they love me too. But at the end of the day, they know my intentions are not bad. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm just trying to include as much people as we can so that we can get our greatest president of all time reelected, to, uh, reelected again. I don't... And by ousting the gay community and saying, Oh, what those that guy was saying. He was saying, you know, we don't want you. We don't want you in the party. We don't want centrists in the party you know, to be conservative. Well, let me because just say, because like of time here, it's not that, as far as I can tell, I don't know for sure, they don't want the homosexuals in the party. They just don't want the homosexuals promoting talk about their love promoting about their, their lifestyle love. because it's an abnormal We're lifestyle. We're not promoting our lifestyle. And most, and let me just finish. Hold on. I'm not promoting. Hold on, it. Rebel. Hold on. And most of the people who are going to, uh, you know, want to debate this issue or discuss the issue with, with uh, Turning Point, they're Catholic people. They believe in God, right? And so, but I don't understand, maybe you can help me, Ricky, is why okay. are they, if they truly believe in God and right. think that it's okay to promote their lifestyle too, why are they running from the debate? Well, here's the thing. A lot of people that believe in God don't believe in that one sentence I, I told you where we should, like, kill people. But why is Turning Point running away of, from of, the debate? Because maybe they don't think that being gay is is what is something that is uh, an abomination. Then they're, they're not like Christian you. then. Well, maybe maybe they're a, a, different evol a different kind of Christian. You know, back in the day, the Christians didn't like blacks and whites being together. They but what does black have to do with— Maybe they've evolved. Maybe they've evolved. No, but don't compare to black because black people were discriminated right. because of skin color, not because of their immoral lifestyle or anything like that. But many gay people, I mean, are just born—they're born a certain disposition 
that is more likely that they're going to be that way. I mean, it occurs within nature. Do you believe they were born that way? I believe it's a mixture of, of genetics and also um, having to do with, um, you know, circumstances in life. So, uh, amazing. But let me just ask, um, do you believe that turn, Turning Point are acting cowardly by running away? Because I don't run from anybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I debate, I I debate everybody and their mama, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like that about you. You ask really good questions, too. And so do you believe that Turning Point is acting cowardly and not representing God by running? Because if they face it, they may be able to help someone to understand. Do you believe they're Turning acting point. cowardly by running from the debate? They need to answer the question. Are they acting cowardly? They're, they're running away from the question because they are conflicted. So, yes, they're, they're being, you know— they're, they're, they're scared uh, because, they, because they, they, know, they know that a lot of Christians support them and they're afraid of losing their conservative fan base or, yeah. So are they cowardly? Their Christian fan base, to be more specific. Are they cowards? Do you think they're cowards? Uh, no, I'm asking you. I think Charlie Kirk is a really, is a great guy. But I, I wouldn't call him a coward. I think that he's just trying to be savvy. He's trying to be smart about it. But it's not being smart. Christ would never run. He faced everything, right? And so if they yeah. truly are sons of God and they believe that they are, why are they not facing everything? You never know who you may be able to wake up. You know, you may be able to help. But if you're running all in the name of Jesus, they look like Satan. Well, the alt, the, these alt-right groupers are going to put a rift because a lot of the people who voted for Trump this year, we voted for we voted for Obama twice, okay? So there's a lot of centrists who, that's why Trump won. So if you allow the Groypers and the alt-right, the neo-alt-right, to come in, the Richard Spencer types to come in and say, gays abomination, guess what? Gays aren't going to, gays are going to be nervous, more nervous <laughs> to, to vote a certain way. You're, you do, you're doing exactly what the LGBT say you are, that that conservatives don't belong in the, in the, uh, <clears throat> or gays don't belong in the conservative party. You're basically being a stereotype that the liberals are telling you to be. I want the conservatives to be who we really are. We are the open, liberal, or not liberal, we are the open, um, free-thinking, independent party. I know, but you we don't yourself, accept. Like, uh, stay in your lane, get out of my lane, I can handle my life, you handle your life, kind of, pe kind of people. But That's they don't accept really a are. wrong as a right. They never said... He never said, I want everybody to be gay like me. I want everybody to get a husband like me. That's where everybody else. But you don't say you want to, especially if you're black. A black man ain't got no business saying he got a husband. Because we know that's not what? real. <laughs> no, JLP, uh, many, many men are, are gay. But you, you can't like, have no of, husband. You had to, like, figure that out, you know, <laughs> or understand that. But according I always say he could be gay. According to the Supreme Court, we can't we we can get married. That right, he could be gay ago. until the cows come home, but just don't say he got a husband. Well, when I get married, I'll come on your show and tell you how happy I am to have a husband. <laughs> <laughs> My last question is: um, Why do you call them alt right? They don't call themselves those who disagree with the lifestyle, uh, public lifestyle of homosexuality. They're not calling themselves alt-right. Why do you call them alt-right? Well, I'm calling those, the people who are the Richard Spencer types and the people, that, they're, they're called groifers. They're asking these questions because basically they're anti-gay, they're anti they're anti-Jew, uh, they're anti, I mean, they're anti-black. They're not going to talk about that. They want a white ethno state. How do you know they're anti-black the if they don't say it? Because they have said it, Richard Spencer types, and they say, like, they don't want any immigration. They don't so want any immigration, and they want to take it back to what the founding fathers, they, they're saying the founding fathers only wanted a white ethno state. So they, but they call they themselves prefer, nationalists. They prefer for you not to be here, too. No, that's not true. They love me. Oh, well, they love me, too. Right. Many of these, many of these conservatives yeah. love me. And, and I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the Richard Spencer types. But the Richard Spencer, those guys people. love me. Mm. They love you. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask. But they, they call themselves. They, they, they talk is cheap. They call themselves nationalists. Are you a nationalist? Yes. And so that makes you an alt right there, right? No. But how no, come you're I'm, not an alt right and you're a nationalist, 
But they are a nationalist and you call them outright. It doesn't make sense. Because they want they want zero immigration. I want legal immigration. I don't want and any want, immigration want, at this they point. Want, you don't? Okay. No, and they I, want need, a I think we ethno, need to. They want, a, they want a white ethno state. So they don't like all of the different cultures coming into America. They want only white culture, whatever that means. They don't want like Japanese culture. They don't want, you know, they don't want different people's culture or 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 people from different countries coming in here. They want a white ethno state. That's well, I'm not, I, I can't speak for them. I will, you know, uh, they're doing a good job of doing it for themselves. But what I get from them, and I could be wrong, is that America was founded and built by white people, and white people are the majority of the country. And these people who are coming in are hating them, right? Blaming the white. They're coming to the white country, and then they blame the white folks, and they want to take away the white country. I think that they just want it to be majority white at all time because white people tend to vote conservative. Well, Trump wants all Americans, okay? He wants all Americans to have jobs and opportunity. Trump held the gay flag up at his rally. He didn't hold up the Aryan race flag up at his rally. Amazing. Okay? I know it makes him mad. And you guys got to watch my MAGA challenge. I talk about this in my hashtag Ricky Rebel MAGA challenge video up on Twitter. You know, I'm fighting the fringe groups. I'm I'm fighting the radical left and the radical right because they're both wrong. Well, Ricky, thank you so much for coming on. That was fun. That was fun. Thanks <laughs> for having me. Yeah, we'll have great. you back. Thank you, man. Lots of love. And don't get no husband. Get a wife. I'll get both. <laughs> <laughs> love you. All right, man. Thank Bye. you. Uh, that was thank Ricky you. Rebel, folks, songwriter. Check him out. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Justin Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. 